Hey y'all, it is the Wicked Witch from the Midwest, and today we are continuing our tavern. We are going to be making maps, which are a little bit hard to see, but they're definitely there. <laughs> and we are going to be working on our fireplace, just another little piece right there. Uh, I'm excited, and we're going to end a little earlier today, so I'm just going to jump right into it. So this is our little fireplace, and then you can see our maps right here. I do have one done that I forgot over on the um, crafting table, so super fun. <laughs> well, I think Dad's grabbing that right now. A map. And I also forgot the uh, cutters over there while you're over there. I do still have our table. Yes. Uh, I do still have our tables from last week, and they're just sitting over here and here. Uh, so I think... Oh, my father is coming. Thank you, and thank you. So I needed that, but here is one of our finished maps. Thank you, Ma. Let's see if I can actually show you guys. Oh, oh, oh I'm so off. Ta -da. Wow, that's snazzy looking. And then the back is just blank. But because we, uh, for this one, we used this ink. But I'm also going to um, do some with some acrylics and some miniature paints just to get a couple of different colors in there. But there's that, that guy. There we go. <laughs> He'll probably want to be sealed or something. <laughs> oh, hi, wacky stuff. Uh, wacky stuff. Did you hear? Halfling sorcerer escaped from prison today. A small, medium, and large. <laughs> yes, we're starting with the D&D &D dad jokes already. That's so much fun. <laughs> Alright, we're going to start with just cutting these out. And I do also have a blank piece of paper, as well as some pens, so we can make our own ones. We might actually add a couple of dad jokes in there, because that sounds a lot like a lot of fun. Uh, Halfling escaped down the ladder. It was a little condescending. <laughs> Oh, I like that. Alright, and the only reason I'm cutting these out is so I don't accidentally um, rip into other ones. But I'm not going to be cutting any out because that would make them pristine. And we don't like pristine maps in this house. I'm gonna do a little fiddlies. Ooh, not the craft fiddlies. There we go. I think that's better. So... I'm literally using my fingernails to find my edge. I'm going right against my edge. And today we're going to have um, mom behind the scenes. It's going to be super fun. I'm going to push all the buttons. Oh, that, that's a great idea. Yay! Crap. Alright, and... And that did get me. <laughs> Mama needs tweezers, tweezers for safety reasons. So and the, fire. The, the tweezers got thrown over there. Okay. Okay, I will, I will if try you, to find another thing. If you have to, grab my bathroom tweezers. They're not gross. They just, I'll just keep them in the bathroom because they're very sharp. You should... Yeah, that would be perfect. Be able to use this. Like, I'm literally just using it so I don't burn my fingers because these right. are small. All right. Now the best part um, of making old maps is the fire. We'll get a little smoky though. Now. I'm pretty sure it's mom's favorite thing to burn the top of it You're just awesome. a little bit. Sorry. I have to be able to see it. Otherwise, that'll happen. <laughs> wow. There goes most of the map. Well, I guess we'll leave this side, at the other side as is. And we'll just leave it like that. But so it looks like... This side's ripped, but the rest of it got burned off. 
it is a very delicate balance that is for sure yes so when i'm doing that you guys probably won't be able to see it all that well hold on that's a bit better so i had to like completely like shove my hand in your face but wow it, it smells like burnt paper in here put this over there I'll eat. so they can see better magic it's magic now nothing behind here ever existed and i won't believe you if you say otherwise so i'm gonna use very little Where water did you put it oh, right here you're good you're good shut up and let you have your show thank you all right so right now i'm using two of my new christmas paints that i haven't used yet which is most of them honestly uh hold on let me catch up all right, put of sleeping for that joke piece right before I sleep. Fire! Oh, I guess you were leaving, I think. I don't know. I'm confused. All right, so these are the two colors I'm using. Uh, the Barbarian Flesh to get a bit of a pinky tone to it to make it look like a little bit fresher. And then this to bring down the pink a bit. <laughs> First... Oh, I just really thought these were going to have shakers in them. <laughs> no, but they usually, the set usually comes with the BBs so that you can add them. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know you guys couldn't see that, but that just did like the coolest thing ever to the water. Or maybe you guys could see it, I'm not sure. Um, so the water was pooled onto one side. Um, so whenever I put the paint in, it just, the water went like whoosh. It was really cool. I wish there was like a playback sort of thing. <laughs> that would be fun. Oh, there we go. And then just one drop of that. So I'm doing two parts barbarian flesh, one part um, leather brown. I need to get my tables out of the way so they are going in their spots. Table, table, tables. Oh. Thought they were glued together for a second there. Freaked me out. And once again, I will reiterate. I absolutely love doing three-legged chairs. My favorite type tables. of chair. Ta table, yes. I don't like doing chairs at all. Yes, currently the plan is I'm going to be 3D printing some properly scaled chairs for them to paint. Chairs are rough because you have to get them to where they'll sit underneath your proportionally correct tables, but then the chairs never look proportionally correct because they have to be wider but also shorter at the same time. It makes zero sense, and I just don't enjoy making chairs. So we're going to print them. Because I'm lazy and it's easy. That's a bit closer. I'll definitely have a couple of different shades. You guys can't really see the color, but that's the color we have right now. It's pretty pinky. I think I might add a little bit of sepia, actually. And you don't have to use this stuff. You can use inks like this is, or you can use shades. Anything watered down would work. Yeah, that's much better. It still looks pretty pinky on the camera, but it, it's very top. Taupe. Taupe. Whatever. Whatever, whatever. I don't know why I put my paintbrush down. Uh, I need something to paint these on. Paper towel. You are going to be relocated. Stop. You're going to go over here. You know, there is a lot more room here than it seems like. I'm just bad at using it, I guess. <laughs> All right. 
Now this one is already a very good color for what I'm doing. So you're not going to see a lot of it pop up on the front, but on the back, it's going to look great. Unless your paint is too watered down, which this is. So I'm going to add a little bit of this to darken it and thicken it. Oh my goodness, it looks like chocolate milk when you put too much powdered in it. So it's just got like those flecks at the bottom, or like those chunks. See? Like I'm either going to tell your future or tell you your chocolate milk is going to be disgusting. I don't... kind of up in the air right now. <laughs> That's better. No flip it back around to make sure because because when they're wet the ink will want to come out not like like the the prints or ink will try to come out a little bit and we don't need that to happen all right this one we're going to cut out semi pristinely because this guy we're gonna roll so i'm just gonna use like every possible um technique tonight <laughs> But, I mean, that's really the best way to do it so that they can see, you know, the process. How to get this look, how to get that look. Yeah. Okay, I'm doing the back. Yeah, the only problem I see with doing the roll-up, because I absolutely love the roll-up, but then you lose the map. But unless you do, like, a half roll. But... I like to take the roll from both sides in. And then... Yeah like pin that a little bit and but leave like a crack open so that you can't actually see that there's detail in there. Could you get me another one of this thickness? I just can't. <laughs> but this technique also works for like like I can roll it up and then I can unroll it and it'll keep its curve to it. Oh you can't see that. Hold on, I need to come down closer. Yeah, I think, I think that'll be better. better. Yeah, too skinny. Okay. Like, you can see, like, I rolled it up, and then I unrolled it. Just, like, spin it a couple times, some friction to dry it off a bit. And then you've got a map that won't stay open. So you'd have to get, like, tiny little rocks or something. Yes. Thank you. Now I can do the double roll. And that will actually help, too, because I can do different thicknesses. That's what I figured. Okay. So I'm going to leave that map like that, and leave that one like that. One, I think we're gonna go a little bit wonky on one side. Kind of just like having fun with it because that's just like what you do with these things. And by the way, to get these maps, um, you just like search Google images for maps and then like shrink them down to like the small, like an inch. That is actually um, exactly the size that I printed them was. They were, a lot of them were squared or uh, rectangles so I took the largest of the size if they were rectangles and made that an inch see one inch <laughs> um but we also had some maps from someone I think it was a patreon that we were following uh it's like Devin Rue Devin Rue yes. yes she has phenomenal maps I would highly recommend Especially if you want to use something larger. Um, but one thing that I enjoyed doing was going on to Incarnate and creating maps. Yes. And then printing them smaller. Uh, a lot of these that I used tonight were actually from Incarnate maps that other people had used. And because this is, you know, personal use, it, it's not an issue. Yeah, and, yeah. I was about to say, and you're not selling them, but that's the exact same thing. So, mm -hmm. in case you guys were wondering what the definition was. Oh, there's a little, like, compass on the side of it. Not mm -hmm. compass. Rose compass or something, I think. It's technically what it's called. I, yeah, it, it's the, the little this way up thing. <laughs> I think it's called a rose compass. <laughs> oh, this one's not wanting to stay put. 
We were going to do the bar tonight, but there's a lot of prep work for that. So, like, I guess we could technically show you what I've got so far on that one. But, like, I'm literally making shelves inside of the bar. And that was not going to be, like, done in time for tonight's show. <laughs> we can't see what you're doing. Oh, jeez, sorry. You're going to have to, like, tilt your hands. I mean, that's, like, a really good shot. Yeah, if it was, like, focusing on what I wanted to. There you go. There we go. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> if I move it enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Warning, everybody. You might actually get nauseous before <laughs> showing you what they're working on. There we go. I've got it. Oh, dang it. It's, like, just not quite right to get the full roll on both. Can you get me one more of the skinny ones? Ah, uh, yes, Nasty. Because apparently the double roll isn't going to work on the thick ones. Which is fine. I'll just roll this one like this. You know, for working on the bar, or working on this set that you're building, we might want to change camera positions and have it looking almost straight down. Like this or like that? Like above and down. Oh, well, we've been wanting to do that. We just don't know how to yet. So I'm just saying, like, a lot of the stuff that you're working on in this just can't see what you're doing. So I'm working on, like, incredibly small things right now. Are we going to pick up a new map? Uh, I think we're probably... I, I don't know for sure, but I think I want to put some of the D&D &D dad jokes on... Uh, just write them down on my blank piece of paper and turn those into things and then like I don't know maybe like some of these things are going to be like on a quest board that's going to be behind the uh bar or like or the next wall. to it making a wall are you gonna make a wall that goes up the back is that what you're saying uh not a huge one just like just one to put the that on I mean you could actually enclose it I could technically but I want to make it as playable as possible so in order to do it all the way around yeah. Be, but I really want to have the quest board on there because that's like a focal point. So I was thinking like using the same wood as I used on my floorboards, just going up like that, at least as the um, backbone. And just having that and then the uh, quest board and then that's the only wall there is other than like the uh, wall behind the tavern. Not the tavern, the bar. I'm sorry, guys. I'm super tired. <laughs> it's like I know I mention this like every week at this point, but I work nights now, so waking up at 5 o'clock to get prepped for the stream is really early for me. <laughs> Usually I wake up at 6, and even then I snooze till 7. <laughs> and that doesn't really work whenever you're staying whenever you start at 6.30 and still have to prep. <laughs> Alright, get my skinny boys. Okay, one part of the time. One of the things I also like to do is take a thread and glue it on the back where your thumb is, because you're completely off screen right now. Jeez, oh, sorry. Um, glue it on the back, and then have it kind of wrap around the front and almost tie them shut with the threads is kind of fun to do. Because I sew, I have a gazillion different colors of thread in the first place. I gotta be honest, I stopped listening really fast. What did you say? It's talking about, how, you know how sometimes with made scroll Creep show, I'm not sure you were, you know, applauding them stopping listening to me or just in general applauding. <laughs> I was saying, how, you know, sometimes I've made scrolls and I've used. Where are you going with that one? Um, because I'm working over here. Oh, okay. I'll just. And I was like, two hopping on. Uh, actually, can you grab um, one of those tiny rubber bands that I asked you for earlier? Yes. 
so that way I can hold this one to dry. <laughs> Hi, Poop Show. Um, so today we are working on maps and our fireplace. I we just got a three D printed fireplace. No. Well, it's it's not us, so I guess it's probably plastic. It is right? plastic. Yes, I don't remember the name of the company at the moment that yeah. I got it from, but it is a really nice. It came in a box set. That's all I remember. Yes. So that one doesn't work. This one. Don't take my water, no. <laughs> I'm taking your water away so I don't knock it over while I adjust your camera. So, sorry guys, I'm going to make you dizzy because she's con or they are constantly off screen at the moment. Hi, Sawdust. Uh, yeah, we were going to continue working on the bar, um, but I've got a lot of prep work that has to happen with that, and I didn't wake up early enough to work on it. <laughs> It is technically, this is still for the bar, because this is all work for um, the tavern. The tavern. It's stuff that's going in the tavern. I think that I think might work a lot better, kiddo. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That works a lot better. All right, it's hard to see against the wood, but there is one map right there. We've got it in a spiral right now to dry. Um, whenever you just use one and roll it, you can use friction to dry it, which works a lot faster. But because you have two and you want to keep it in that specific position, you got to let, let it dry. Right. Yes, maps and fireplaces are aw an awesome combo. Where'd you take my water I'm to? Get back I'm back thirsty. Up. I all of the cameras. I don't want that. I want this. Shut it. Trying to hand me the coaster. Well, you need instead. to put the coaster somewhere else because now I've blocked you from being able to use that spot. We're gonna do that. So I can reach it from this side, but I couldn't put it down on that side. Alright. So I also so I've got a couple of maps and I've got a couple spells on here as well. Um and then I also have a blank paper for me to write stuff on to add to it. Like, I'm going to do a quest board as well. So if you guys have quest ideas that I can write in about one inch space, <laughs> uh, that would work great. <laughs> or don't, dad jokes. Dad jokes also works. Don't forget you have a whole fireplace to paint. That is true. But this part doesn't take very long. <laughs> And the uh, blank pages are probably all going to go onto the quest board, which is mm, for a later date. So, <laughs> actually, we might work on that next week because that would be pretty fun. I don't know why I keep putting my scrap paper on there. So that's not helpful. Right, and then I'm going to rip this side because I want to. Make it look a little messy. And then I always try to do the back of it first. Just because the printer ink likes to uh, come, up, come up. So better safe than sorry to do the back first. It up you can also okay. use coffee and tea to stain these you can but it would probably take a little bit longer than uh what i'm using not by a lot but one of the things we've done before is we'll take an, ent an entire sheet of paper and stain it with tea or coffee and uh let that dry out overnight then you can take them and use you know make all of the the things I think we're going to use fire again for the next one. Is there a fire bolt spell on here? I just randomly picked up things that looked cool. I didn't actually read them because you won't be able to read them anymore. True. You got one that's the curse. I figured you'd be able to read that one word because it was still fairly larger than the rest of the text. Yeah. I'm going to use this one because it's, it's not English. 
Eh, it doesn't matter. You guys won't be able to read it anyways. Not English. I don't think it's even... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just scribbles or a doctor's handwriting. It's runes. Runes. That's also a word for it. So I specifically googled um, spells in Celtic because it's a very beautiful written language. I also googled um, spells in Old English because, again, it's a very be beautiful typeface. I'm setting things on fire. And if, unlike what Cora is doing, if you can have more patience and simply hold the flame near it, you can get it to melt away and burn away without actually catching fire. Yeah, I have zero patience. Yes, I know. <clears throat> I also left but that's what we love way too much on that side. Shoot. Ow. Wait. I put lotions on my hands, lotion on my hands, and then I set my hands on your dad's key. How dare. Yeah. And it's the, oh shoot. See, that's taking so long. Yes, but it actually will give you, it will give you a better look if you can have the patience for it. <laughs> if, remember, you have to remember, this is not about making things quickly. It's about making things super cool. It's about making things fun. See, I didn't even touch the fire that time. Although I do like that little notch I've got. Right here, dude. There we go. See that little notch at the top? Pretty fun looking. At this point, I'm not trying to stick it, stick it in the fire. It's just happening. I feel like I need like an, an ashtray right now. <laughs> <laughs> I turn the fan on. It's sweet, so we'll just turn it on for a few minutes. The problem is, it's not the burning of the paper. The problem is, is the burning of paint on the paper. I haven't even painted this one yet. It just smells bad. It really does. See, the problem isn't the fire. It's the smoke after the fire. True. And I do have a little water cup over here for safety, just in case. But honestly, it's so small that it'll just burn up faster than it can do any damage. Agreed. But I the also... face you were making is like... Oh, well, to be fair, I had bacon for dinner, so I... Yeah. Kind of getting bacon out of my teeth as well. Problem is, it's also the face you make when you're like, are you sure that's actually a good idea, or do you just want to cause violence? This is true. This is an accurate statement. All right. I need a little bit more water. Ooh. Just add in some brown to my water. That's too much water. <laughs> And that's why we need pipettes in our lives. Oops. I believe they are all downstairs, is what we figured out last night. Yeah, and we are too lazy to go get them, so they're staying down there for the time oh, being. You know, the funny thing is, is we've gone up and down the stairs 15 times. Three times, times today. today. I've before gone up and down the stream. Times, yeah. Didn't think to grab any. It's one of those things that you don't think about until you need it. <laughs> Okay, I really like this one. Look at that. Yeah, this is going to be my favorite boy right there. My friend. Oh, he's trying to roll back out. Let me fix that. That's why you want to use the friction. Well, and you can also use like a little dab of glue. Um, or like what Cora's done with the one that's still pinned on 
the skewers works is, really well too to keep them in that state until they're really kind of set. I love this one. The burnt edges make it look so much fun, like it, like it's seen battle, you know. All right, and this one is actually dry now, so we can pull it off. It is stuck that way for the rest of its life. All right, so let's bring this bad boy back over. All right, and let's see where we're gonna do it to see if, put these to see if we have enough. Which if you ask me, there's never enough, so. That one's really burnt, so I'm going to put it on a really burnt table. This one's pretty clean, so I think I'm going to put it on this table. And of course, some of these can go on the bar as well. And I think that right there is, like, perfect. Because that one's super burnt, plus super burnt equals fun. Also, you can put some on the board. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Soda says, is it a map to the place where I put things to be safe, but I can never remember where I put them? <laughs> yeah, this one is. <laughs> Hold on, let's see if we can. There we go. See? That. It, it's pretty burnt up, so I put it on a pretty burnt table. <laughs> but yeah, I think that is a lot of maps, but the beautiful thing about this is essentially... You can have all of your little fiddly bits, like chairs, tables, um, maps, those sort of things that aren't set uh, set in, not glued. Uh, I, I, we can have like a little box, and then every time you're about to use it, you can just set it up like, oh, I want a map here. Oh, I want this on the quest board. It probably won't be that detailed. It'll probably be set on there. But yeah, it's this is what we got so far. I think that's... Plenty of maps for now. We should probably move on to our fireplace. <laughs> Boom. Right. Ooh, Mom, can you get me my acrylics, my big boys? I rolled the minis over. Minis. Yeah, well, I have a specific red I want to base coat this in. Okay. I want this stone, but I still don't have a stone color over here. So. Is it just burnt sienna? No, but that is a good color for this. Do I still need to go get the other thing? Oh, yes! Thanks for the concussion. <laughs> this is why you don't throw things. <laughs> While she's going to go grab that, I've got these over here. Um, and some of them are little circles. Little, little spheres. Cylinders? Cylinders, that's the word. So I'm going to grab a couple of those. I'm going to cut them down, and they are going to be our logs that go next to our fireplace. Because I'm just that cool. These are going to be glued down, because... Oof. They're going to be so small. Yes, please don't throw that. You will actually get me a question. <laughs> Boom. I don't actually have a place for it, so it is going right... No, it is is it is going full on on the floor. <laughs> All right, I forgot what I was doing. I was doing this. All right, I'm gonna cut these ahead of time. Try to figure out a good size for them. I'd say probably that long is good. There it is. Now I would have already had these cut if I had had the plan ahead of time. <laughs> and these are gonna be like hand chopped obviously so not gonna be <laughs> perfect cuts ow so are these really like to stab you every time you cut them <laughs> here's water for Pancake. thank you ow. got about 45 minutes yes we are um Ending a bit early today. We're gonna to end on time at eight o'clock. That is early. Eight thirty is on time. 
it used to be uh, late, and then we were just like, you know what, let's push it to 8.30, why not? Okay, so now I want enough of these to make a good size mound right there. Maybe burn the edge of one and stick it in the fire to like make it a bit cohesive. I think that's enough for now. Is that here? I'm just continuing to work on my base from practice yesterday. Oh no, my paint color swatch came off. I have part of it. Why do you fill both sides? I didn't. <laughs> I filled one side and then I poured some out today, or just now, into a little thing for me. And when I did it, I just kind of splashed it back into the other side as well. <laughs> we use the tweezers for this. Because they are super small. What's that for? It's my wooden logs from my fireplace. Oh, gotcha. Right? Please don't burn. I'm only going to be burning one of them. You're off screen again. Oh, jeez. Sorry. I don't know why I say ah, oh, jeez every time. I just do. You guys aren't allowed to judge me. <laughs> Very good. Now I can see the top of your head so much better. Look, dude, I gotta look down. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I like to pick on you. It makes my life better. I think, eh, I think I'm going to drop it. I think I'm going to try to hold it like this. Let me try that again. Like that. So I can paint the whole, all the edges. Without any issues. And then I can paint the sides. Now. There we go. These are looking like great logs. They are a bit thinner than I would expect for like a tavern of this stature. But you know they they they, they do their job. Okay, almost there we go. And this paint isn't thinned down at all. It's just straight acrylic. But that's because the bark is still on there. So, got to get that bark color in. There we go. I decided it was a lot more difficult to try and grab the edges than to just grab the side and let it spin as it wants to. <laughs> Which typically gets you all the edges anyways. <laughs> now you're staying there then. What color am I using? Raw umber. That makes sense because I'm doing raw wood. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Like it just disappeared. <laughs> that one looks sparkly. Oh no, it's just wet. Ah! Really likes to run away, and that's really rude. Because you're being threatened with fire. What did you expect? Only one of them is going to be threatened with fire. And I haven't... Actually, I have decided it's you. You're going to be threatened with fire. That's going to be... Well, it has already been painted. So... I know this part must be so interesting for you guys. On screen, maybe. I am on screen. Boy... I've been paying attention. <laughs> That's why I said it's probably much more interesting than it has been. 
I don't know, the suspense of having it off screen. <laughs> um, no, I changed my mind. You. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> oh, oh, thanks, thanks for the corgis. I love watching it fall into the cup. It's so much fun. Where did I put my fire? Mother, did you take my I fire? I can see it next to your paint. Scissors. Oh, there you go. it was standing up, so I couldn't see it. <laughs> Thank you to your Thank you. Which I already said, by the way. You didn't say two sawdust dragon. You just said thank you. Want a little bit more. I scurry. love the little puppies. They're so cute. There you go. Sorry, I know you guys couldn't see that, but I had to watch the fire closely. She's their fire bug. I, I, I am an app I am absolutely a pyromaniac. And I don't try to hide it. Okay, I was making sure it was warm first. Not warm. Not hot. Alright. And there's our one that's burning. It's kind of hard to see, but we know it's there, and that's what counts. <laughs> I gave up on the tweezers. You said I didn't need a painted hand anyways, right? <laughs> and then if we need more of these logs, we can absolutely make more. They're easy enough to make, but I didn't want to make too many because we still have to paint the entirety of the fireplace today. See if I can fix this a little bit, because like I have more water on the no water side. You really don't have time for that. <laughs> you know, I got most of it in, and now I can actually wash my brush. <laughs> okay, let's see. I think I'm gonna use that for the brick and the fire. Either that or that. This for the brick, that for the fire. Oh. And I think I'll use this deep blue that looks like a green for the stone. So we're just gonna see what happens there. Alright, let me grab these guys. Put them on here. Got a little bucket for them right now. Burnt boy. And there we go. All of our little logs. Alright. See, that's like super green. I don't know if it's going to turn out to be <laughs> oh, shit. color. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Someone's feeling violent today. I was concentrating on my little ship over here. Just, I really didn't see it coming at all. So I was like just concentrating on what you were saying. Little details on this little tiny... Oh, sick. It is super green. I don't know if that's going to turn out to be an actual deep blue, but we're going to find out. <laughs> yeah, too bad the beard man cam isn't on. Oh, I forgot to open it. Apparently she isn't listening. <laughs> I am listening. I just not going to turn it on. Oh, why not? You don't want people to see the pin in your hair? <laughs> uh, well, no, because I live my life with a pin in my hair, so that's... <laughs> It's either a pin or a paintbrush. It doesn't change. Yeah, there, there's always something in my hair. We need to get you a paintbrush that looks like a pin and a pin that looks like a paintbrush. What would be the purpose? So you'd always have both in your hair. Oh. There we go. And that is our brick color. But no, mainly I don't want to turn the beard man cam on because I'm pulling stupid faces over here. I'm pulling stupid faces over here. The least you can do is do stupid faces online together. But no, see, I'm doing the... Oh. The mother's putting her makeup on face. 
I'm doing the Cora's trying to focus but is very tired face. I re this one's already open. Oh, don't tell me I got another one of these. Uh, here. And for oh, those I of didn't. you who uh, don't do your own makeup, that face entails sticking your tongue into your bottom lip and shoving it out as far as you can. Like, focus on your eyeballs. That's what my mom, that's how my mom looks when she's doing her makeup. And this is our fire. Normally I wouldn't be pulling these all out at once, except it's acrylics, so it's not going to dry fast enough. So I don't actually care that much. <laughs> Struggle with the paintbrush. I like this paintbrush. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start with the brick. Normally, I I use sorry uh, I use darker colors for my base coats, so don't ask me why I'm using lighter colors because I don't actually know. It's just the vibe I'm getting, I guess. There was a flow. Oh, there's just a little chain here, and then there's this on the back, which is very odd. Well, it's. <clears throat> It's a freestanding fireplace, but it's also like a, a, a forge work area, too. There's ears. It's, it's, it's torture. It's full-on torture spot. There's, there's ears on there. Those are ears right there. Love it. You mad I'm facing it now? No. No. There you go. Yeah, because it's a whip. It's a whip, ears. And the thing over there is a by your... It's another type of whip. It's yeah. another type of whip. It's the type of whip that has, like, spikes on the end of it. <clears throat> so it's, like, severe. Like, I'm gonna kick your ass. And, and you're gonna have whelps. And it's it's gonna suck ass. It's okay. gonna suck. This is a really bright color. Well, this is like almost dry, so that is definitely going to be staying green. But that's fine. Because the great thing about base coats is you can always go over them and pretend they never existed. As long as you're going thinly, because the problem with a lot of base coats is the paint itself is very thick. And then if you try to go over something over and over and over again to cover it. There's her face at the top. It, it, that's a full on face right there. Yeah. You see it? Oh, so the the mouth is where the fire is because there's eyeballs. Yeah. And then there's the nose right above the. And then here and here are teeth. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm a little jealous. <laughs> you gave it to me to do. I did. I did. Yes. It sucks that this isn't a a, a 3D print because then you could just print it again. Right. Except much larger. <laughs> Oh my god, I am full on gonna do this in flesh. Like, completely flesh tones. Like, someone's face was just, like, taken off and stretched out. Cassandra. Moisturize me! <laughs> Alright, that's all stone. I think I've got all the brickwork based now. I'm going to move on to the fire next. And I'm going to do all of this in the fire color also, just so it has that undertone to make it look glowy. And just so you guys have a secondary opinion, 
I would not have based it in the color that they did, the bricks themselves. I would have based them in a much darker brownish red or a tan and then dry brushed the red over the top so that the tan would have been showing as my mortar in between. The one time I pick a brighter color and you're like, oh, you should pick a darker color. <laughs> no, actually I'm saying like if you had used um, like a, a light tan or a, a, a medium tan, that would have been a really good mortar for in between the bricks but you can still lay that in with a liner brush too yeah this brickwork is actually quite odd because if you look at it it's going into the stone like they carved it out of stone and they're like oh shit we messed up so they like added bricks to clean it up a bit it's kind of what it looks like it's the best way i can describe it either way it's pretty it really is but it makes it a mismatch of um, brick and stone. Yeah. Which will make it slightly more difficult, but mm, slightly. <clears throat> All right, and there's our fire base. Fire! Fire! So. Fire guy! Right, started guy. this. <laughs> All right. I'm going to ignore the back right now because that's a lot of detail work and we're just going to focus on the front. <laughs> but I am obviously going to still base coat it. Oh my God, this is so green. I'm going to I'm gonna stick with it though. <laughs> For no reason other than I'm stubborn. <laughs> it's literally called deep blue. So I expected like a grayish blue. Like a dark gray blue. <laughs> oh shit. Damn it. <laughs> Hi, Gareth. Hi, Gareth. Um, guys, I'm really sorry about my language. We're painting a fireplace right now, which is apparently looks like Dad picked my colors again. <laughs> I am painting details on the sunken ship from last night. So I've like got my head down over here because I'm producing the show, but... There's really not a whole lot to do once it's up and running. So I'm sitting over here painting. I don't know. I found a lot to do. <laughs> like I did the ticker, the the third. Oh, yeah. I guess I could do that stuff. I forget about that stuff, honestly. I do, too. I, I don't know why I didn't forget about it yesterday. I think because it was, like, up already. But I did both of them twice, so Dad would be very proud of me. <laughs> Alright, for, uh, oh, you're working on Yoda tonight? Oh, I'm definitely watching tonight. That sounds exciting. Aww. Um. I don't know where the thirds are. Um, I, I know they're in the same spot as the chroma. Whenever you like hover hover over the bottom tab of the, 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 the green screen sort of thing, they pop up together. Oh, that's Streamlabs. That's voice. Yep, a new Grandmaster Yoda from Legion. Ooh. Yoda no for pizza? <laughs> I I really can't help you other it's okay. anymore. <laughs> only problem with having days off is I don't hydrate enough so I'm like dehydrated the entire time I'm off work because while I'm at work I drink more than a gallon of water like it's definitely more than a gallon and then when I'm off work I barely drink eight ounces which is like the recommended minimum you know what is that I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's the fan. It's, it's the, the fan? Yes, that's why I don't typically have it on in here. Because that's the oops, sorry. Well, I'm, I'm, that's the one that we need to redo. I'm done with the fire, so please turn that off. It sound it sounded like uh someone like running some heavy machinery or something outside. I was like, Nee. Yes. It was so annoying. Frog pizza. <laughs> Like we're all just talking about pizza now. Alright, anyways, the reason I am 
using a green right now for my stonework is because this color is called deep blue um it looks kind of blue on the camera but it is very green <laughs> um and i was too stubborn to just pick a different color so this is what we're doing for our base color <laughs> And you know what? It is a very pretty color. I definitely wouldn't call it stone in any way, shape, or form. But it is definitely a pretty color. Now I'll remember it when I'm making pine trees. Is that you laughing or are you cleaning your yeah, brush? I, I'm, no, I was giggling because, you know, frog pizza. Indeed. Alright, so there's our base coat done of the solely the fireplace. This, oh my god, this thing is so freaking cool. Uh, there's a face up here. There, that That's a full-on freaking face. As opposed to a half face. Uh, I guess technically it's like a, a two-thirds face. Well, I'm just saying full-on. It's just funny. And see if I can get it to focus again. Got it the first time. Focus. Oh, almost had it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at me. Alright, well, I'm going to stop trying to um, give you guys, like, a seizure or whatever. But right here, those little guys right there, those are ears. Trophies. Those are ears. Trophies. This is a full-on torture area behind our fireplace. It was supposed to be a normal tavern. Just a simple tavern. But it's not anymore. <laughs> okay, let's pick our next color. You know what? I have that barbarian's flesh. I'm going to use that to base coat the flesh. <laughs> and then I think we're probably going to use a lot of contrasts to paint this fireplace. Get up the nose. I made my nose itch. Your nose itching made my nose itch. Why do you always have to copy me? Why do you always have to copy me before I copy you? <laughs> Gareth says, cool, I'll be listening while I'm priming with an airbrush and <laughs> respond when I can. <laughs> I mean, that was Gareth telling us to shut up. One of these eyes is not like the other. Okay, I really got touched up. Alright, so that's that. Did you just steal all the contrasts? I did not. I took my kitchen okay. and my boss. I love this shade. So what you use for the octopus, right? Yes. That's a really it's not an octopus. It's cracking. Didn't you just call it an octopus, though? No. Pretty sure you did. All right, someone roll it back. I've never seen a, a fireplace mimic before. I'm sure you have a lot of them. I feel like the contrasts are all mixed up in here. Yes, they are. Because I don't have a good spot for them yet. Yeah, we don't have quite enough for it to have its own spot. Do we have a gray contrast? I have a, uh, a white one. But it's it's not pure white, so it probably will work. Uh, it looks kind of bluish, grayish white. And it's... I thought I had right around where you are digging.
see it, and they must be having so much fun just staring at my back. Okay, well you go ahead and go on doing what you're doing. Plus six fire damage. Yeah. Because that's, that's mouth, the fire spot. Uh, that's the mouth. It can be tamed with s'mores. <laughs> oh, no, I need s'mores. Okay. Um, while Bob's looking for that, we are going to write one of our quest boards because um, that is going to be one uh, of our quests. Um, I have to write super small, though, so um, you guys are going to see, like, my bun... And I'm going to be very quiet. <laughs> Better than seeing a butt. Yes. So, Mom, you have to talk while I'm doing this. Okay. I'm talking while they're doing this. To make things more interesting for the viewers currently, I'm just going to continue to speak so that we know... I misspelled destroy. <laughs> it's going to stay like that. Apothecary white contrast. Oh, that's going to look great for the stone. Yeah. It's going over the green, so it's going to turn... It's going to do something. For all those who have children out there, it's going to be baby green. You all know what baby means. Up or down. It doesn't actually matter when it comes to baby green. <laughs> it's like, that answer was worse. <laughs> I'm going to picture up because I can't have to picture that color down. <laughs> Well, if it makes it any better, I hope no one's eating right now. Yes, Stop Gareth this. is. He's eating his pizza right now. After I finish my pizza. Okay, yes. <laughs> I shouldn't have brought up any of that. You Gareth really shouldn't have. Gareth knows the colors and the spells. Stop talking! Just stop! You told me to talk! It's frog pizza. Uh, fireplace mimic. Name is let's go with Dave, because I know he's probably That's here right now. Really funny, because one of the uh, listings that I did on our Etsy page was a three-headed dog, and I was list I was making you know the description funny, and I'm like, this is a really fun model, except for the middle head. That's Doug, and he's an ass. <laughs> Pretty sure that's about what you were talking about earlier. <laughs> yeah, so this is named Doug. Okay, I really like your setup right now, Ma. She's got her phone. She, she's she got a, a kickstand. <laughs> she's got a kickstand on her phone, so she has it propped like this with her flashlight on. And then she's painting underneath of her flashlight. <laughs> this side of the table is not set up for painting, <laughs> so there's, there's nothing. But I'm trying to put some some green around the the sh the sunken ship to kind of stain it a little bit, you know, because it's it's moldy. Uh, is it GD? What for gold? Oh yes. Okay. Sorry. I, for some reason, I immediately went to like the table, uh, the the periodic table. I'm like, I have no idea. That's what AU. The hell uh, any of that is. It either iron is AU or gold is AU. I don't actually remember. I'm not good at science. Alright. Oh, 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 oh. I still remember I went to college like super late in life and the science teacher was like, you know, okay, well we're not we're not gonna really cover the, the periodic table right now. Uh, because, you know, you guys all remember it from high school, and I just raised my hand, like, do I look like I remember it from high school? No. So let's go over it, shall we? He was not very happy. See? It's, it's, it's because, you know, we share a brain. I saw this dragon says I went straight to the periodic table as well. <laughs> There we go. We are going to coat this in a color that is appealing to the eye, other than like straight white, which I don't know if there is even that. Yeah, there's no white paper in my uh, 
in my D&D world. It's because you imagine it all with that, like, old, antique feel, you know? Yeah, probably. You should have written it as small. I wrote it as small as I possibly could. I literally could not write it any smaller. If you want, you can write it. I'm perfectly fine with that. I don't think I have it either. Exactly. Not legible. I bet your dad could, because he has that crazy, he, like, type He probably could. Print. It's, it's crazy. Pull up a little bit. There we go. And set Dave to the side. And now we are just about dry over here. I think we're going to start with the stone. Just because I want to. Is. is this newer? What? Yes, brand new. Uh, like you got it from the hobby yeah. shop? It's like, it, like, I don't know why, but this looks a lot wetter than the other ones that we got. Like, this one. No, I guess it is probably the same consistency. It's just, I don't trust that shop. <laughs> You know what's really funny about this is you went with a dark color and yesterday I'm pretty sure you were telling me that when you want to do contrast paint you have to go with a I didn't know I wanted to do contrast paints. <laughs> and it's also not really sticking. Well that's the nice thing about just being able to, to switch gears like, yeah, I don't really like that. I'm yeah. gonna do something different. I think I kind of have to. <laughs> no, I don't have any grays in there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm going to do? Yes. I'm going to do my favorite color. Do you know what my favorite color is? I do. And I, be, and I mean specifically in our mini paints. Yes, I do. You want to tell it to the audience? No, I don't. I don't believe you. That would be a... Uh... Probably a good idea. Well, what is it, Mother? Oh, no, no. It's not believe me. I was just agreeing with you in general. No guesses? Well, it really depends on what you're painting, what you're talking about for no, your it favorite doesn't. paint. No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Well, if it's your favorite thing to spill... It's no oil. No oil. Yeah, which isn't <laughs> my favorite. That's... <laughs> Um, I'm gonna take a guess. It's, you know, it, it's funny because all I'm thinking about are my favorite paints. Which is probably a safe assumption since they also share the same brain. Give me an answer, woman. We're running out of time and I'm not gonna use it until you tell me an answer. Guess. I'm literally drawing this. <laughs> I'm looking over here going, uh... No, it's none of these. <laughs> I see you are stalling. Uh, no, I have no guess. I, I'm... Moonstone Blue. Oh, God. I have no it's guess. Moonstone I Blue. Knew that. No, it's not avocado. Although that is a very nice color, paint wise. I don't actually like the color of actual avocados, but the paint color avocado is very nice. I don't know why, but I always like, every time I think of avocados, I think of like grainy green. Not granny, grainy. Oh, well, I understand that because of the texture of an avocado. Yeah. Which is funny, considering I've never tried avocado before. Oh, no, 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 the outside. Because the inside of an avocado is extremely smooth. But it still looks grainy. But it isn't. You are not wrong, but you are... You are not wrong with your impression, but you are wrong about the actuality of it. That's part of the reason I've never wanted to try avocado is because it always looks grainy. And I don't like grainy foods because it's not supposed to be grainy. Oh my god, now so you it's don't just like sugar? greener. Not sugar by it. Wet grainy. <laughs> Wet grainy. Twisting <laughs> oh. my words, woman. No, I'm not. 
just throwing them back in your face. <laughs> not the same thing. It's not like I'm, like, popping sugar, you know? <laughs> Alright. So, right now, it looks blue on screen, but I promise it is very green. It is like a bluish mint. <laughs> yeah, it just keeps getting worse. It really is. It's just. I, it's. I think you need to go over it. I just need to go straight gray, gray yeah. And, and move on because it's not working. I was trying to be stubborn with this color, and the color is being stubborn back. You are my bitch, and this is what you're gonna do. And then the color is like, ha, 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 ha. no, bitch, you thought. <laughs> uh, you know I. Uh, Sawdust, I'm, I'm kind of the same way. I, for the longest time, didn't like avocado, and then someone was like, oh, no, seriously, you have to try a slice of an avocado on a burger. And I'm like, why would I do that? Why would I do that? And then I did, and I'm like, oh, my God, I see why I would do that. I literally can't find a gray. Look in your other paints, baby. There, there's no grays in there. Oh, okay. Um, go back to doing something else. Then. Okay, I guess I'll grab a yellow. <laughs> Work on the fire a little. <laughs> um, I, I just really don't like the green. That is like a really good idea, but the green is just, it's not it for me. I'm just not a fan. It's, it's not gross, but it's not great. Yeah. It it's an unsettling gross. sort of green. <laughs> Yeah. It's approaching baby green, I would say. <laughs> it's like, you really just, you can't see how well it looks. Okay, you have to read what Sawdust said, and then you have to look at my hands. Well, I see white and black make it. <laughs> you were about to make it for me. I'm literally holding white and black. I'm just gonna mix it. <laughs> Uh. They saw us. You could just come over and just run the show because you know <laughs> we have an orange contrast, right, Ma? Yes. Okay. At this point, I would give up with the contrast. Okay. Well, it's not for the stone, so I think it'll be <laughs> fine. It's for the fire. Sorry, I really like fire, in case you guys haven't guessed, by the sheer amount of fire I've been using for this tavern. And once again, I would like to reiterate, you're the one that handed me the lighter last time. Uh, well, no, so I understand. I understand the consequences of my actions. <laughs> but I would like to point out... You didn't tell me how you, should, you thought I should use it. You just told me, here, use this. I would like to point out that you didn't have to burn the tavern down. <laughs> that's part of the story now, okay? Oh, that's the story. So you had a tavern, and then you're like, oh, I need a fireplace, but by accident you installed a mimic fireplace, and it burned that shit down. So then you had to bribe it with s'mores, and now it gets rid of the drunk, the ones, people who got a little too drunk. Yes. But it's... Luckily, it doesn't burn their money, so... <laughs> this is a bit of a shady tavern at this point. Well, but... it was built by you. It was always going to be shady. Oh, that's too dark. <laughs> I was hoping for a lighter color. <laughs> sorry. I hate so. Them. Sorry. <laughs> It's like if you're gonna make me a gray, you might as well make it the shade I'm imagining, <laughs> but not stating. Making friends with the mimics, I like it. Except they didn't do a very good job of making friends because it burned down there. <laughs> it burned their crap up. <laughs> okay, that that is a fun fire. It is hard that to see, but it, look really it is really good. nice. Yes. All right, so all I did for this fire, so you guys can, like, repeat it at home or whatever, is... Here, let me see. Invited him in again. Yes, invited him in again. Um, gave it... <gasps> His name is Calcifer. <gasps> I need to throw this away. His name is Calcifer. 
So I need to fix that. Because <laughs> why wouldn't his name be Calcifer? Tell me why his name wouldn't be Calcifer. Brighter than that. Oh my god, I hate you so much. <laughs> Think of, like, fresh concrete. Like, pretty light. <laughs> Gareth says, back both Yoda. Both Yodas are primed and dear god, latex titanium white through an airbrush was a dream. I don't want to talk about white right now because I hate them because they wanted gray and we couldn't find any gray. So I'm making their gray. Which and you didn't have to. Basically what they actually wanted was a dark white. Not gray. You're getting closer. Shut up. <laughs> no, I have uh, I really need to get my, my airbrush area cleaned up so that I can try working with it again. Um, That's the strangest thing that's ever happened to me. There, there was a layer of white paint at the bottom of this. I tapped it to get my logs out. The paint, the wet paint stayed, the dry paint popped out. Not entirely sure how that happened, but it did. I'm going to add a little bit of red to this. Stop wobbly wobbling. Impressed you, my wife. <laughs> That's for <ridiculous>. us. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm not even reading all of that out loud because that got me so. <laughs> So Gareth says, uh, well, white ink through an airbrush was the sex. And uh, Killer Bitcoin says, dark white seems contradictory, like depressed emo white. <laughs> and Gareth says, how about light black instead? <laughs> That's uh, what you're getting. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with the gray. Oh, you have white over there. You could make it better. Yeah, I, I plan on it. I pretty much filled up the blood. Yeah. That's the problem. It's so. way too much. I've already taken some out to add to my base over here. <laughs> Dad, you will never understand me, white. <laughs> oh god that is so awesome mama do you want to go see if dad's still awake oh it is almost eight o'clock yeah yes i will go check on him what do you think of my ship basically a color with a few issues <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that got me really good. I'm just picking a couple of bricks to turn to this darker color. Except you're way off camera again. Ah, oh, jeez. Sorry. <laughs> Mostly daddy issues. This one. I hear a fluffy butt. Come here, Thatcher. Hi, pretty boy. Where you got? He's well, going he's straight to the couch. He is just like not coming. Unfortunately, that is where we have to leave it for tonight. Oh, you coming? You coming, Papa? Do a five second puppy cam and, and no no quackies, guys. He hates it. <laughs> yes, no sounds. Say hi, Papa. He's there. Oh, he's not happy. What's the drink? Then, Mom. He needs to go to the group. Yes, badly. He's done. Oh, right. that's a good question. So, would Fireplace Mimic actually give off heat, or would it not? Uh, yes, it would, because I'm naming him Calcifer, who is a fire demon. Hi, Papa. Alright, watch out, sir. <laughs> I love you. I know, I know. We gotta hurry up before Sarah freaks out. So, is he? Mom, big cam. Running out of time! We have one minute! I'm doing great. I gotta figure out. Main uh, intro exit.
Intro exit. Oh, I'm making it Intro so exit. I'm making it so bad, guys. Hang on, I'm gonna hit every button. Just give it to me then. No, I'm hitting like intro exit. Literal, you can keep saying it. There's literally not one there. Big uh, face cam. I got it. Hey, I hit buttons. Okay. This is where we are right now. Um, I'm gonna rush the exit today because uh, we are out of time. Um, we will be finishing this bad boy next week and possibly working. <laughs> on our uh board our quest board next week as well yes uh i'll be working on the bar in the meantime in and between fixing uh, the back of that shh, thing shh. i didn't even end up using the gray paint that you made stop <laughs> all right um bye mom you have to push button